Hey everybody, it's Terry Gaines. I'm going to show you how I stamp these cute birds that I've used for several different projects. The first thing I do is cut several of them out using um, my die cutting machine and the die. And you can use your scrap cardstock, but you do need to create one on a template that has a little bit of space for magnets. So this is about three and a half by four inches in, in, in width. And the next thing I'm going to do is take the stamps and the die I've cut out is using three of these different images. You can see they're well loved already. So what I'm going to do is just place that solid image of the bird right on the Stamparatus. The Stamparatus, I've added a sheet of the small grid paper and it has the foam insert, which I do like using when this, I'm using the photopolymer. So the next thing I'm going to do is put one of the platform plates in and bring it down and pick up that stamp. The colors I'm going to use are um, crumb cake and soft suede. And as I picked up that stamp, you can see, maybe you can see in the video that it pulled the paper up. It's important to have the paper right in the corner and utilize both magnets to hold them down. I have painter's tape on my magnets. So I'm going to start out with the lightest color. The two colors I've used for several of the birds are, as I mentioned, crumb cake and soft suede. So this solid image I stamp in crumb cake. So just tap, tap, tap the ink on, bring it down, apply some pressure, and get the image on the grid paper. Then I'm going to take this template that I referred to that you want a little bit of space for magnets. I'm going to place this over that image and look for equal spacing on all sides. So I can get equal spacing around the perimeter of the image and then place both of the magnets down to hold that in place. Now I can take my uninked bird cutout, just like a puzzle piece, place that in, make sure that it is in um, nice and flush, tap, tap, tap the ink back on the stamp and press down. Now I have that portion um, stamped, and that worked out really, really well. So the next image is the bird detail. So what I can do, and this works great with the photopolymer, is just place this right down on that image. So I have um, cover, I'm lining it up with the already stamped image on the grid paper. I'm going to take the chamois, which is a must-have tool, and clean off this stamp. I'm going to reverse this plate, keeping this image here, and then having this already in place, I'm gonna bring the platform down and pick that image up. Now I can take my second color, which I mentioned is soft suede. I can ink up the stamp. I'm still not going to put the puzzle piece in there yet because I wanna check my alignment. I want to stamp on this image to see how well I lined that up. And I didn't um, press down quite hard enough, but I can tell that I've got that down really well. And what I'm going to do is just apply a little bit more ink on that. And there we go. I'll bring this up so you can see that lined up pretty good. I'm very, very happy with that. So now I can put this puzzle piece in and the beauty of the magnets is they're holding everything right in place for you. So then tap, tap, tap the ink on and then bring this down, apply pressure. And now I have this image already stamped in. Isn't that pretty? You could stop here, but I like adding that wing, the third image. Again, I'm going to clean off this stamp. And now I don't want to take these off. They're already on here, so they're set up for all the die cuts that I have. I'm ready to stamp up. So with the stamp Stamparatus, you get two of these plates. I'm going to bring the next one in place. I'm going to grab this third image for the bird. And this is for the wing, I'm going to place this down and line that up, bring this platform down, pick that up, test it out on the grid paper first, tap, tap, tap to get a good coverage. And 
That looks really well. I'm going to put the puzzle piece back in there and tap this piece in here. And there I have my finished bird. So that is how I use the Stamparatus to stamp these. It's much quicker to stamp or cut these out empty than to stamp and line this up on your paper and cut it out with your die cutting machine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Look in the comment sections and you will find links to other projects that I have, I have used the cute little bird for. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed creating this project. Stay safe and stay healthy.